<laughs> no, 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 no. It is your responsibility to let your neighbours know that you're a registered sex offender. You can't expect them to know based on your appearance. And that goes for both of you. Or Are we live? Yeah, I guess so. Episode number seven of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we are in Michael's steam room. <laughs> yeah. mm, hot rocks around, mm, steam sauna. We like to get our sauna in while we do our podcasts. It's not as hot. As normal. Not yeah. as hot, man. It's been cool raining down. again. It's been flooding everywhere, baby. <laughs> How's the chair? You look so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you look so <laughs> He's comfy. He's fucking wearing. Oh, I'm. I have to make the best clothes. of it. Yeah, your knees are up high. Is it nice? Because you got that headrest now. Uh, it's. It kind of supports me, but I hate it. Yeah, okay. Oh, you hang in there. You might get an upgrade. Who knows? One oh, of these what days, could be mate. the fucking upgrade? One of these from days, this. get an upgrade, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. All right. I'm just going to put it out there. His wife is a bitch. Yeah. If you if, like, don't get that offended. It's a fucking alopecia. She's not, it's alopecia is like a, it's not even terminal. She's not even dying or anything. It's just on her appearance. Fucking get over it. Yeah. God. It's a fucking he joke. laughed at the joke and then she would have been like so, so. And he's go like, and slap him will <laughs> go and slap him for me what are you gonna Imagine, do about it what will a simp of a man like <laughs> fuck you just he was fully enjoying the joke and then she'd be like you can't joke about my hair people yeah, are, so people are saying it's a soft it's, spot but fuck you god that's frustrating people are saying it's fake but there isn't no, like, no you can no tell you can, you can tell, tell. we can we can tell yeah, I, I read, a lot of people thought the slap was fake, but you know it's not fake because he gets. There's no way the Oscars would let an actor sit there and go and swear on TV. And yeah, stuff and like also you can happen. see from Chris Rock's reaction, he was like, he was taken. Yeah, back. he was taken Ooh. aback, and he didn't know what to say. And you can tell he's a bit scared when Will started fucking just screaming at him. Imagine if he fought back and they had a full on punch on on stage. That'd be fun. Well, yeah. we're talking about best reactions. That what he should have said when Will Smith was going off at Chris, he should have just said, "Shut up." <laughs> Would have set him off, I reckon. It's made the Oscars fun again. Yeah, I didn't even know it was on. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know Oscars was a thing. What is it? What's the Oscars for? Uh, acting and uh, film. Why do they call it Oscar? Like, oh, who the fuck is Oscar? There, I haven't looked into why they call it Oscar. It, isn't there check. Netflix movies and shit? Um, I saw there were some nominees there as well. Yeah, Netflix stuff get nominated. There you go, mate. Netflix starting to take over the Hollywood whole scene of you it. Can yeah, make, Hollywood's you, dead. You, you can make a short pedophiles. film. You can make a short film. Hey, and, stop! And get nominated. That's a song. Hey! You can make a short film about my... disco dancing and you can Hard. get nominated. Um, also, um, we need to film two podcasts this week oh, yeah. because we are having a week off next week. We're, we'll be on holidays. We're at a little Easter break. We're having a week off of you filming. You are feeling too much today already. And um, Set all the feels. And fuck, man. <laughs> and so we need to film another podcast in like four days. We're thinking maybe Saturday morning. Matt said, oh, we'll wake up and we'll get coffee together. Uh, so who knows? the whole dynamic could be oh. shifted across all of the mavericks we've got an idea well matthew had an idea should we say it now although we are sticklers for saying something and then never doing yeah. it yeah no we did the only fans i'm i'm <laughs> <laughs> we fucking posted i really like want this one to, i want this we one don't even know now. the name of it did it's we fully s- actual is, I, is it yeah the, in the i'm comments? pretty sure it's fully actual but in the i commented to it yeah, but in the comments, did someone let us know what it was called? I didn't see No, it. yeah, someone said something ridiculous and it wasn't that. And I said, no, it's actually fully actual. So, so you if you go to now? OnlyFans and type you remember in fully now? actual. I'm pretty sure it's fully actual. All right, we're like 90-ish percent sure it's fully actual. <laughs> and like, yeah, if you want to see sexy photos of us mm. together. We should probably add some raunchy. updates 100%. to that. 100%. We should put some tits on. We should all, you know what, after this... Let's all take photos of our tits. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. We'll all just but, take a tit yeah, shot and I wanna, put it up on the only But we got to push our Yeah, well, don't, don't, give don't give too I'm, much away. Don't give too much away. Matt. I don't like that Matt. idea because I know mine's a fucked out of all. Oh, there. come on, no, Brown. No, just so like, yeah, we'll, 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 and we'll, put, we'll do it like this so we squeeze them together so there's cleavage and then we'll put our fingers in between to make it look like a now, dick. Can, you can wear a turban if you want. Okay. I just, uh, I we won't do that. Would, I was hoping that would move on. Okay. Well, we might do that. I'm down. 
We'll put oh. fingers in there and it'll look like a dick. Maybe I'll just sit in the middle while you guys are next to me pushing them into my face. Maybe you can spread your... Would you rather that or spread your asshole? Fuck, they're both not good options. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, just an ass shot. But no, you have to... A bend. video of your ass shaking the you, cheeks you so to, they jiggle a bit. But you have to bend over too. So <laughs> hole oh, might God. be... Fucking leave me alone. Hole might be inflicted. Leave me alone. I feel like... You feel like a little naughty boy, a little naughty brown in the naughty yeah. corner. Hmm? Did you know if you cough, your asshole goes... <laughs> Mine yeah. doesn't. Mine yeah. is always that. So when I cough... Nothing changes. It's just always just tight. tight. It's always like that. Why do they make ready you, for any attacks? Why do they make you cough when they check your balls? Because your sphincter clear. Your flak luli mitnishni. Can you cough without cleansing your ringworm? Can you cough without making a sound? <coughs> no. <gasps> no, that was a sound still. Yeah, that you did it then. And I'm not trying it. Um, also, we've uh, you might have noticed we've been pumping out a few more pranks lately. Look, we're 32 and we're 31. We don't particularly enjoy messing with each other as much I'm as we want to. I'm fucking done. Okay, but can I just, just be clear? <laughs> Marty was on a fucking... He felt me up far too many times today. <laughs> he fucking grabbed at me. I, I was so close to snapping. I don't know. I just felt like it a bit today. S no, more it's, than huge. It's so oh, shit. more than huge. But Fucking anyway, oh, anyway. So we've decided that we're going to because they always perform so well, and it's what people want to see. So we've decided that we're gonna because we we're, we're concentrating on website and science. Well, science is very important to yeah, us. Yeah, and we're gonna keep the science going, but also we're gonna be uh, annoying each other a lot more. James okay, warned me so to get ready. Stop. Just get James ready at any me. time, at any day. Don't relax. Yeah. I've, I've been watching around the side of the house at night. I've been coming here at night to track your movements. Rat. <laughs> yeah, there is rats. No, you go and converse with them outside. Yeah. Giving them tea leaves. <laughs> Get a fucking teacup there. I want them, I want to see. We, we're not killing them. We're just going to build a trap and see if we can gather them all together. I really want to see them, eh? What's that fucking... Someone suggested that, that like, sort of fairy tale where a man has a pipe. Pipes Piper or some shit. Peter Piper? Yeah, and he whistles fucking the little rats and animals out. God. Um, James warned me that you guys are going to do pranks. He said you better watch out. Yeah, well, we, we've we already nervous. got... Yeah, we've, we want we want to really, really hurt and humiliate you as well. So oh, um, oh, get ready. Can we do a prank video? Can we prank you? Are we allowed to? Yeah, of course we are. What do you mean? You, you can't do tell already. Me. You've yeah. done it multiple times. Remember yeah, yesterday when you looked times. to the left of him and he oh, started screaming? Got me good. Anyway. Um, um, oh, do you want to tell this idea or should we Oh, so it? the idea is the world yeah, record. Michael had this great idea. He came to me yesterday and with this <laughs> awesome idea and said, <laughs> well, the world record for the longest podcast ever is 36 hours. So we want to see if we can beat it. I reckon we would get delirious by like the 12 hour mark. Yeah. We, especially, especially if you we had next hours. Cunt. Especially if we had a bong every 15 minutes for that 36 <laughs> hours. <laughs> we should do. We'll fall asleep. Nah. No, we can't do weed. You guys will be gone. It'll just be me talking to myself. No, I reckon we do a normal episode for the first two hours and then it's just. I agree. We, we, we just go nuts. Thon. It's 10 hours of prank calls, 10 hours of bong singing. Oh, what about this? Are we singing? But yes. every couple of singing hours. Made up songs, man. Yeah, we could do that. I'd Every couple of, because we're going There's for so long, inside we could my... book in all these people to come in and visit. Yeah, we get some people to come and say hello. <sighs> Grazed his nose and you he are. puffed up with rage then. Fucking. He? he puffed up with rage. Matt's having a scratch of his back. <laughs> 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 He's trying to reach his fucking bat cunt. His <laughs> chair. <laughs> but yeah, well, we're, that, that'll be, we'll be organizing that behind the scenes because we want to see if we can contact Guinness Book of Records and it takes months for them to get back to you. So I reckon knows? we do it without the record because it makes it even dumber. Yeah, that's so true. And like we know in our hearts that we beat the record. I don't need some fucking stupid And we book. can just buy the books and then just write it in. Why don't we do that and not do it? Yeah, we'll holy see shit. how hard it is. 
Dude, it would get if really they, fun. If they you, sit there and go, oh, you got to do this, this, and this, and we're like, well, fuck it. We'll just do it anyway. Like 36 hours. We'd need a lot of shit to, yeah, we'd need a, a little list that we can tick off so we, we know what we're doing. I'm we thinking go, I reckon shift, we could take it in shifts. We could fucking go through. We could have a little cocktail list of drugs. Oh, we do, all balls. right, for a couple of hours, we do ketamine. The next few hours, we do weed. For this amount of hours, we could get And then get the dangerous. last 10 hours, we do like acid. Or just fucking black tar heroin. I was thinking instead of bong break, have pinch break where we've got to pinch each other to keep each other awake. Matt, that, come on, Matt. Fuck really? That. Are you, really? Are you guys are going to fall asleep. Come, Michael's You're... come to me with such a good idea. And you, that's your <laughs> contribution. Pin- I did say it was Matt's idea at the beginning, but I retract that statement. It is actually my idea. <laughs> Come on. Oh. It doesn't matter anyway. We're all a team, Matt. It doesn't matter whose idea it was. Oh, Don't get dude, bogged that, down in I technicalities. It matters a bit. Fucking me. It matters a bit. It matters a bit. See? that's It matters. Holy fuck. That's I just realized... Why. Your name is in so many words, Kyle. Yeah. It's like like a mat is call, also something you walk on. Wait, wait, okay. This is child abuse. I just worked out. Whoever calls their kid Matt is calling their kid a fucking something that people like, walk you get on. walked on. We walk on it. You collect dirt. A welcome mat. That is almost as shit as Greg. Greg shit, which is my dad's name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh. Anyway, um, if you're on Spotify, give us a five star review. It's a thing now you can do. You go up and you click the five star review, and please. And um, if you're listening on YouTube and that, go and don't forget comment, like, subscribe, and just show your support because we sitting back here and uh, sweltering. We, it's not too hot today. Look, we're 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 doing it. We're doing it pro bono, account. Yeah, we're helping out disabled people. Apart from these sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Nord VPN. Have you ever wanted a VPN? Have yes. you sat there and thought, what the fuck is a VPN cunt? Because all three of us have. We've all sat there and thought that. Even when they contacted us, we sat there and thought, what the fuck is VPN? They give us money. Okay, we learn. <laughs> Nord VPN, right? If you install it into your fucking computer laptop device at home with technology, right? If you put it, pump it in, plug the cords in, cunt, you get fucking free security, right? Not free. It costs some money but you get security no one can track you no one knows where you are you can get in entertainment from all over the world don't you know that don't you know that you can get netflix and whatever from anywhere in the fucking world really nordvpn is the only one that doesn't slow your fucking internet down either so don't come back at me and say oh we we'll get it but it'll slow my internet down because it fucking won't it's fucking fast it's only look if you want to go on a fucking year plan right okay a year plan yeah i want to yeah or if you use our discount code fully actual you get a huge discount and a free bonus gift. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I don't know what the free bonus gift is. Plus, you get an extra month free. And there's a money back guarantee. Money back guarantee if you don't like it. So there is no risk to you. So you may as well install it and see what you think. It's only $4.99 a month for the year plan. Stimulates the economy. Stimulates the economy. Don't you want to give back to... Because the money comes back, so going around it's circles. Going around in circles, baby. Don't let it sit stagnant in your bank account, count. Yeah. Four ninety nine a month for a year, or you can go the two year plan for three thirty five a month. Use our discount code fully actual. Visit nordvpn.com slash fully actual. The link will be in the description. And if you don't have a description because you're on Spotify, just go to nordvpn.com slash fully actual. <laughs> I think we gotta go, we can't. <laughs> We're not going into pedophile, so. All right, cut that. Um, saying, Connor, but, cut that. But but leave Matt in saying, no, no, we're not going into pedophiles. Cut that. No, leave no, no. that bit in. Cut me saying pedophiles and just just take out anything okay. to do with pedophiles. All right, pedophiles. we'll cut all that, but no, okay, but leave this in. Okay, we'll cut the pedophile joke that we just made. You happy? Yes. All right. We're never going to get anywhere. And especially if we're doing it in and around our sponsors. Anyway, enough of the pedophiles. On to Manscaped. 
<laughs> Manscaped.com. If you need grooming shit, if you got hair, plumes of hair, go out of your ears and nose and back hair, and your wife's looking at you like you're a fucking caveman, go to Manscaped.com. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 and get 20% off all of their male grooming products. They can make your sack as smooth as a silky pillow, right? They got ball wipes for when you're on the road and you've shit your nappy. <laughs> You can put a fucking nose hair trimmer up your uh, nose and look normal. You can shave your face. They got body washing out. It doesn't give you cancer. They got this oh, spray. It just says hydrating body spray. Look at that. It's, I'm just spraying it and I don't know what it does. <laughs> I don't know what that does, to be honest with you. But get it. Buy it. Buy everything. Buy the lot. Go shop. Shop till you drop it. Manscaped.com. Fully actual ready for 20% off. We've gone crazy. <laughs> it is good for the economy too, this one. I'd yeah. love to see the reaction of the person who has to review, <laughs> he has to review this. Yeah. I don't think they do review them. I think they do. They don't have the human resources. That's so true it's about that, It's like the that, police. I so everyone good. says, oh, you haven't got a license? Don't drive. Enough They'll about the you. pedophiles. Okay. Our third, and fi- that. our third and final sponsor is, of course, the University of Manga, which is our subscription website, right? And right now, you just came out on the website, is a video where Michael and I travel to Blake, Melbourne at Shami's house, and he uses piss as the main ingredient in three different dishes to see if you can make piss edible. And let me tell you, the results are surprising. So if you want to see that video for free, you got a 21-day free trial. Link is in the description. Or go to universityofmichael.com, sign up. It's fucking, what is it, seven ninety nine a month? Oh, US so it's like like 10 bucks a coffee or something uh, a couple of coffees no it's, it's two a coffees two yeah. coffees it's two, two coffees, coffees. It's so a it's coffee like and a bagel two dollars a week or some shit and or three dollars a week unless you're doing the premium and look we've got over 200 videos on there now and they're, they're fucking it's good shit man you couldn't sit there and watch it now you, you're fucked <laughs> Mr. Brown is such a fucking fuck knuckle <laughs> cunt. He wouldn't even be able to watch it all in one sitting. That's how many videos there are now, mate. That we upload every week. They're like 30 minutes long. Sometimes how many hours? It, well, 200 times Have you on average. It out? Half an hour. Yeah. So 200 times half an hour. That's like 300. That's like 6,000. 6, yeah. That's so many. A six thousand. That's six thousand. That's so many. It probably minutes. Six thousand minutes. Okay. Sorry. Which is six hundred hours. So you tell me about that tonight, huh? You <laughs> yeah, tell you me tell about it. that tonight. You tell, you tell me about that tonight, <laughs> Matt. You would genuinely you on the weekends if you fucking watch this, you would be so happy for a video. How's this for a video, right? Matt's gonna sit down. He's going to sit down and we're going to show him a fucking website video. And if you laugh, right, you have to suck our cocks. Would you? Do you no. Love yes. Do you love us? With Tabasco oh, all over it. it. Oh. Yeah. Does that hurt? Yeah, yeah. just be shit. Oh, okay, if you, okay Matt, if you had to suck one of us off, who Ooh, would it Right be? now, five. Four, uh, three, I'm probably gonna have to go two, Marty just because yes. I've seen too much bad shit from you. Oh, oh but then yeah. again, wait, no, I take it back. It's Michael. He's very clean at the moment because he's trying to impress his girlfriend. Yeah, I've been chatting. You, you have been in the relationship yeah, too I'm, long. I'm you don't give a shit that. anymore. I, I barely even wipe my ass anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. She she's does not care. All right. She's been with well, me for yeah, too I'm long. So Michael's clean at the moment. Look, no, yeah, we're gonna film Matt's reaction to some of our website videos, and yeah, There's it's gonna head. be crazy, man. It's gonna be maybe fucking like crazy here. Maybe we could come up with a little ringworm where if he laughs, he gets a reward, or no, if he doesn't laugh. If we can prove how fucking funny we are, if you don't laugh, you get like, I don't know, a cake scraped. Or, a, or like he gets scraped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm down with that. By what? Like punishments if you don't laugh, punishments if you do laugh, and then rewards if you don't laugh. I reckon I'm pretty good and I I can hold it. No, I don't know. Man, um, we are fucking funny. It's loose like, on there, baby. It's quite loose. If I get in the right frame of mind, I will not laugh. We'll, we'll oh, see. Look, That's a good idea. Look, let's move on from this boring fucking talking, hey? <laughs> let's get let's get it's straight into podcast. Is it, let's is get it straight, time? Let's get straight into the fucking podcast, okay? Wait. On this. Oh wait, should I get? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bum <laughs> (laughs) 
And we're back. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, Matt's um, come in and done a bit of sloppy research on this one. Uh, he wanted to, to he wanted to get this one out there because it's it's kind of, it's kind of trending. This subject. <laughs> yeah, so Matt just uh, did a little bit of digging and actually found the root of the problem. <laughs> little fluffy, huh? <laughs> little fluffy. All right. On okay. this day in 2009, Will Smith accidentally exchanged his wife's shampoo bottle with a bottle of chemo. She washed her hair vigorously for a few months and ended up losing all of her hair. The entire Smith family was incredibly confused and devastated because looking good was the most important thing to them. One day, Will was watching one of his servants clean his bathroom when he saw his servant throw an empty bottle of shampoo in a bag. He had a thought and ordered his servant to get out of the fucking bathroom. He checked the bottle and sure enough, in big bold letters on the front of it, it said, this is chemo. He quickly threw the bag away and suggested that his wife had alopecia. That's been his story ever since and he will defend his story until the day he dies, even if it means slapping every single person who even dares mention her name, cunt. So that's... <laughs> That might be why. Yeah, wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. They should be more careful about that. I've seen that in Coles and nearly bought it, thinking it was bleach. Well, I'm pretty sure they do sell it. Yeah, they bottles of chemo for sure, man. I've seen it. I've seen it on the shelf. Chemo. Big W? At Big W. All right. Is it my Bible or Matt? Um, Let me just just have a quick look here. We don't have to. I've got my Bible here if you need it. Look... Matt, we're moving on to um, Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. All oh, right, Bachelor now. Brown, 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 Brown. Oh, Bachelor oh. Brown, 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 Brown. Uh, now, Matt, before we move on to your next bitch, have you been speaking to the one from last week? <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew that Dude, one would stick. So you stick. love it. We, what have you guys been sharing with each other? Just. Had a few chats. I've had a few chats with all of them. Are you guys together? Oh my god, you fucking have feelings, or at least feelers for her. You feelers. <laughs> like what have you guys been talking about? Spill the beans, Big Brown. <laughs> yeah. Spill the beans. I want to hear all about it. Oh my Do you god. Love I said hello, and she said hello back. So anyway. Oh come on, so a little you- bit more. Oh. No, we just chatted. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Anything else? Come on, give us some juicy goss. It's you know it's rewarding to hear what's coming back. Yeah, after it's organizing documented. Let's it. hear about it. It's nothing. So just had a yeah, chat and that's just it. a normal small talk shit. Typical brown small talk, boring bullshit. You barely scratch the surface. You don't even know her. My suggestion is get deep with the questions, and it will lead to you getting deep with your dick. Is there a question you would like me to ask? That's probably true. Yeah, and that's going to be written in a m- notebook somewhere. Write it down. Is there a question you'd like me to ask? I might. Um, Is there something you want me to come back with, like a little bit of homework? Yeah, yeah, yes. I Do you want know what I mean? Ask. Like, so, all right, Matt, you've got to ask her this and find yeah. out this information and bring it back. Yeah, I want out of to- all of them, is she the one you like the most? <laughs> <laughs> so you love her. Yeah, that's a they're yes. all they're that's all pretty cool. Look, you, Matt, you're being politics. You are in love. I knew <laughs> I did it last that. week. I yeah. said you loved it. Matt's saying that he hates <sighs> single mums. That's basically oh, what he just I said. I did not. I did not say he's that at all. That he, so you dislike single mums, and that's why your favorite is the one from last week. Let's move on. He hates kids. It's true. <laughs> Fuck. That's that's yeah. Oh, I'm, right. not gonna, I'm not going to comment on that. Matt. Well, Matt, let's it's, hope it's that this extreme. one's not a single mum. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello? Hey, it's Casey. Oh, thank the fucking, fucking fucks for that. Don't know what the fuck happened then, Katie. That was fucking stressful as fucking shit. But enough about me. It was the other day when Michael ran. Yeah, I know. um, We'll um, transfer you some money for this call as well because it's an international and I feel very dirty doing this. We'll get them for free. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Well, um, look... Uh, uh, as you know, I've got you on speaker here with um, uh, Michael next to me and the very suave, <laughs> charming 
Mr. Matthew Gregory Brown to my left. And yeah. um, look, he as you as you well know, he's on the hunt for his wife. And uh, Matt would like to share a little song that he's written for you. Oh. And just oh, it's I look forward to hearing it. It's only like three or four lines, oh, but um oh. yeah, it just prepare yourself. Come on, Matt. <laughs> Matt, you can fucking do this. Sing the one I was singing to you today. Come on, Matt. No, I Matt, didn't have a song. Matt, sing the one. You reach your high notes. There's a boy remember? inside my heart. I can't do that. Reach your high notes. I can't. Don't freeze up, Matt. Say Don't the last up. line. God. Say and I'll have him by tomorrow's morning's end. Come on! And I'll have him by tomorrow morning end. Oh, Katie, I'm so sorry. He's really oh, yeah. just bitched out about that. Anyway, I don't mind it. look, he needs to he needs to do the song. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I agree. If I don't hear the song, it, it, it's, 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 it's very song. demanding. Oh come on, Matt! You you promised a song. <laughs> just a little twinkle, twinkle. Little twinkle, twinkle, little boy star. Inside my heart. No, it. leave me alone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh, put his defenses up. Matt, Matt put his defenses up. Do the boy up. inside my heart song. Katie, no. is, we're going to have to rely on you to help <sighs> um, open this conversation up. So, Katie, why don't you tell Matt something about um, yourself just to, to help him get to know you a little bit? All right. So, um, well, I'm Katie. I'm obviously English, as you can tell. Mm. Um, I. Well, I think this might be quite helpful for Matt, to be honest. So I work in a hospital where I have access to the mortuary. So oh. I've never heard oh. in his diary. Oh. Um, you guys get so I've never heard in his diary anything about having a hand in his mortuary. So I can leave this open doors for him. He did Did you just make me an offer for, for mortuary sex? Corpse fucking. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Dude, that is a standout. We haven't had that oh, before. Oh, what an offer. Ah. What say you, Brown? <laughs> what say you, Brown? Dude, it's different. Go for it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, will you move oh, there? Man, you will you move hasn't to said a word. Will you move to England now, dude? Oh, where in uh, where in England are you from? Um, I'm from the south. South Coast. The South Coast? Coast. Yeah. What, like Brighton or something? Oh, my God. Dude, you got to ask more interesting questions. Come on, be I more don't know what to say. Be charming and shit, <laughs> yeah? Dude, open the door for her. I've never been to Australia, but um, I have this irrational fear that when you are on the toilet, that a snake will swim up through the toilet. Oh, um, yeah. So that is the predominant reason that I've never been to Australia. you got a higher chance of Matt swimming out of the toilet. No, no. <laughs> 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 Bring it home, Matt. Say something, Matt. Bring it home, dude, Matt. Dude. You're fucking butchering this. Um, Come on, Matt. Oh. Why don't you ask? ask dude, tell her ask, you're moving to England. Uh, tell her what. Say tell you're her moving to England. Your first day it is, Matt. Tell her what your ideal first oh, day no. is. Oh no, um, Katie. What's your ideal first oh. day? Great question. That's pretty um, good. Unless you want to go oh, to the mortuary, that is interesting. Dude, I'm not say- sure, to be honest. Um, probably something involving the mortuary. <laughs> <laughs> say, <laughs> say you're English. Say you're English. Matt, tell her that you're born in England. Tell her I've got English born. heritage, I think. Dude, Holy that God. is the same. Matt's got English hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Matt's got English hair. You got English hair, dude. I'm sorry, Katie. You got English hair. I'm sorry. They're not letting me talk. That's fucking good. Oh, oh, I'm the sorry, phone. Katie. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. They've lost right, their I minds. Can... Now it's just you and me. <gasps> oh, special. Um, just, you know, practice the song a bit more. Maybe you could add a rap verse. Add a rap verse? Time. Dude, you should rap. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, oh, on. man, I'm not very good at rap. Show sure, sure what you got, man. Dude, this do an English it. accent for her because you're from England. How do I do an English accent? Uh, we're fucking mortal, mate. Oh, fucking fucked it. I fucking fucked it round up to his neck. Now I'm from to- Birmingham. Oh! Oh! Man! Are we watching Peaky Blinders too much? I'm sorry. Oh, that's a good oh, apology. I watched that. I watched <gasps> oh, oh it's something in common. Holy Finally, shit. Matt's making some inroads. <laughs> All right. So, 
besides mortuary sex and and stuff, what what do you else do you do? Oh, what do you what are your hobbies? Weak questioning. Yeah. Um, Weak questioning. Dude. I have two horses, so you aren't dead. Um, Tell her you've met David. Exciting, really. Matt, um, lie to her. The other thing I like doing is um. So I work, also work with old people and I quite enjoy it when they're over. Matt loves the gym. Oh, nice. Tell her how you love the gym. Yeah, I love the gym. Yeah. yeah. Tell her that you, how, ask um, her how old she is. Uh, Matt would like oh, to yeah. know. How old he's, are you? he's too shy to ask himself, but he wants to know how old you are and um, he wants you to describe yourself how many physically. Kids do you have? Not that he's all about physically, but like 80% of him is about physicality. Um, <laughs> Pardon? Um, I'm really tall. I'm blonde, um, blonde, and I have four functioning limbs. Oh, there you go, man. Four what? Four functioning limbs for Ooh. you to play with. Eh? Oh, that's good, I guess. Yeah, there that's you go. She's a girl. Um, Matt, she Matt any final questions? You've, this is. I'm yeah. so sorry, Katie. This is the most awkward he's been so far. So far. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, do you have any final questions for Katie before? We end this chat. If we end up together, am I moving to England or are you moving to Australia? Great question. She's the one. Either. Um, I'm quite interested in the green card, so I'd be quite happy to come to Australia, to be honest. Oh, they oh. do. Brown. I think she's moving in. That's so she wants sacrifice. to get married. That's seriously sacrifice. And you've got English hair, so that's sacrifice <laughs> on you. That's a great start. All right, oh. well, there you go. Oh, has she got kids? Have you got kids, Katie? No, yeah. Oh, Matt. Matt. Matt loves he, that. He hates single moms. That's fucking perfect, Matt Brown. All right, well, thank you so much for the chat, Katie. I'll get Matt to add you on his personal Instagram, Matt Brown one 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 one. It's a fucking cool. shit username, but yeah, Matt Brown one 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 one. And um, you know, have a chat to him, see if things go go nuts. And at the end of the season. This is 100% serious. No, 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 no. If Matt no, no, says no, no, you're no. in his top three, we will give you an all-expenses-paid trip to Australia. Don't come to our promise season finale. You oh, are, it is a promise. I'm sitting her, here. No, I'm promising. Tell her she's engaged. You, you might well be engaged oh. by now. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're engaged bad, with yeah. Matt. Brown moves fast. Feelings <laughs> flowing through his very large, wide arteries. <laughs> it was good meeting you, Katie. <laughs> it was good meeting you, Katie. Thank you for taking our call. We love you and stay strong and don't ever, ever look mad directly in the eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Very good. Oh man, that was good. Um, dude, you you are engaged now. That means, yeah. I reckon. I sort of lost track of what was happening there. Are you in a relationship now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are, pretty much, I reckon. it's Even you, if I You're in a vicious love triangle now with last week's and her. Last, Even if I Dude, wanted- last week's might get upset at you now. For you, you were quite flirtatious then, <sighs> you sick f- corpse fucking fuck. Even if I wanted this to succeed, which I- Which is- I don't want to talk about it, but even if I wanted this to succeed, you guys make it so hard. This is the only way. We are fucking helping you. If it weren't for our input, you'd be sitting there like a bullfrog on a road, not moving, not saying a word, and waiting for a car to run you over. (laughs) We're flicking you and making you move around at least so you have a chance to get back into the wilderness and fuck another bullfrog. We've pretty much flicked you off the road. You're back in the bush now. Anyway, that's Bachelor Brown. Man, that was good. You've just found a girl. It was, look. She's it, the one probably. You, you really were stuck then, right? Well, she offered mortuary sex. Is that you, how you say that? Dude, imagine. Is that how you say that? Mortuary? I don't know. What's mortuary. that mean? No, like mortuary. Where you put bodies and shit. Like a morgue. Look. Wow. Imagine a, like a foursome with three corpses. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you sit them up. Because they'd be stiff. They'd be smelly, wouldn't they? You'd have to do Not all the moving. You'd, yeah, you have to like really work yeah. hard. But then once they're in position, you're good to go. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. Anyway, moving right along. Is it my Bible time? First. All right. We have Mudbro. Do I have to have double whammy? Mudbrown's. Here we go. 
Actually, let's do the Bible first. You're right, Michael. Okay, I'm ready. It's here. Because I want something a bit more lighthearted. You know what I mean? Before we head into that <laughs> dark, <laughs> well, twisted It's good mind. to have some wisdom. Dark, twisted mind of the brown. Oh, Michael's Bible! What do you guys think about that intro song? Yeah, I can see the music. It's yeah, clouds open opening yeah. to reveal a big, stiff... <laughs> A court for your show. <laughs> uh, all right, let me flip to some pages here. Ah, uh, yes, one of my favorite chapters. <laughs> Chapter three, verse ten, from the book of Where Where. <laughs> People obsess about what clothes they wear, but most importantly, where. What we're wearing doesn't matter nearly as much as where we are. Where is where? Is it there? because it's certainly not here. Change your values so you do not concern yourselves with what to wear, but instead with where. Find the answer to where, and what we're wearing loses awareness. Now go forth and find where. The glass cracked when I threw a pebble at it. Love, Beezus. <laughs> Dude. I've been... The glass cracked when I threw a pebble That is so true. Yeah. And the oh. ending is like, I get that too. It's like... You can look straight through glass, but if you crack your perspective, you have fractured sight. Do you and get that, cunt? Do you, are you fucking sitting down right now? Pebbles, if you grind them down or melt them or something, which is similar to sand, is a window. Oh, wow. I never sort actually no. thought about that. It's sort of like that. Yeah, it's nearly, it's nearly the same thing if you change a lot of the processes around. You could melt down pebbles to glass, I reckon. Anything with enough heat applied is meltable, Brown. And you don't re realize who you're sitting with right now. Royalty, cun. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Here, you can have your Bible back. Thank you. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Even just go. touching it. The evil that has squirted from inside just makes me all anxious and shitty. Uh, let me flip to a random page in Matt's little black book of halves. Okay, let me just get set. Let me get set here. My hair's all in my fucking orifices. <laughs> it's coming more forward as the night goes on. Yeah, yeah, it's like over your fucking face now. <laughs> ah, it's in my throat. It's all in my throat. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Have number 51. During my time at university for photography, I would often work at the cemetery as a grave digger over the summer for extra money. On this particular day, I started my shift early. It was the evening and I walked past a funeral. There was someone in the middle of a eulogy and I overheard, taken so young, but only 23 years young. I stopped in my tracks and automatically started sniffing the air. <laughs> And Sarah will be remembered for her love of fitness, family, and friends. Mm, fitness. She must have a great body. A shock of excitement struck me, and I shit my nappy. I kept walking, but I made a mental note of this particular grave. Nighttime soon came, and I had already filled the two other graves. I wanted to be able to take my time with this last one. I stood, staring down into the grave where a beautiful coffin was glistening in the moonlight. I looked around to make sure no, no one was doing any late-night grieving, and I jumped down into the grave. My eyes bulged out of my fucking eye sockets, and I jimmied the coffin open with my incredibly hard and erect little brown. I pulled the lid open and saw that this corpse was one of the most beautiful corpses I'd ever seen. Easily top four. Tight, firm body, very little bloating, and a sexy face. She was wearing a beautiful white dress. The nighttime helped disguise the fact that she was a decomposing corpse. Rigor mortis had set in, and her limbs were very stiff and set. I eagerly grabbed at her tits and groin, moaning loudly as I did. Oh, 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 Sarah. Oh. I plunged my thumbs deep into her decomposing neck, and they easily broke through the skin. I lifted her up and bent her back so she was in a seated position. I wrestled 
open her stiff jaw and placed my nuts on her tongue. Oh, yeah, you're a dirty little corpse, aren't you, sir? I poked at my ball bag and had a chuckle to myself. <laughs> then finally, I lifted her dress. I used all my force to rip open her legs. I tugged at them, both, and one of them snapped clean off. So now she was in a seated position and she had one leg bent to the side. <laughs> she was ready. I removed my shit-filled nappy and tossed it out of the grave. Pre-mince was bubbling from the tip of my little brown. I surged forwards and entered the cold, rotting corpse. As soon as my little brown parted her gaps, I, my body trembled with pleasure. I thrust it forwards hard and slowly drew back my hips, then thrust it forwards hard again. I leant forwards and started making out with her face and open mouth. My thrusts became harder and harder and faster and faster. My nutsack slapped against her ass and my gills were widened as I inhaled as much, as much oxygen as I could to fuel my fuckfest. I arched my back as I felt the beginnings of my release. My hips suddenly locked forwards and I expelled my DNA with such violent force that mince coursed through her body and rocketed out of her open mouth and straight back onto me. I screeched with pleasure and tears of joy fizzed from my eyes. Ah! My body went limp and weak, and I disconnected my little brown from the corpse cunt. The corpse had mince oozing out of every orifice as I straightened her out, chucked her snap leg off back in the coffin, and slammed the coffin shut. I can't believe I get paid for this. Fuck yeah! Oh my god. That's why you fucking like Katie. Oh, you have had corpse sex, Brown. You've had it heaps, man. That linked up. That linked up well. What are the odds of that? One in three with your, that book. <laughs> with that book there, one in three is corpse. What oh. have was that? What number? 51. Well into your journey. <laughs> man. Fucking holy shit. Imagine like going and pull a leg. <laughs> Rigor mortis. <laughs> Imagine having stiff and it snaps off, baby. Is that, can that happen? Yeah, you get a real stiff when you're dead. So you can just Some snap, snap bits off. of the body off. <laughs> what do you mean? You fucking wrote it, can't I? Probably when it gets to cunt. like, what? Like Three years 230? dead. 2.30? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 2.30. Fuck, you're sweaty. Probably when it gets to about 2.30, that's when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Yeah, that was insane. Bomb! <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, I'll show you her, man. Oh, man. What are you showing me? The girl you just had a date with. Katie. Zoom in on his face, Connor. Don't zoom in on my face. Zoom in on his face and let's see if we can read what's going through that twisted head. His brain's like a fucking roller coaster. So many twists and turns. Oh, in it. how am I a roller coaster? His brain. Matt, it, she's the one. You she's love her. Quite pretty. No, she's a lucky man. I don't know. I still think Jasmine was the best so far. Oh, so he does wow, have a favorite. He's speaking out. He's speaking out. <laughs> he's using words. Katie was exciting. The the fact that she's like she sounds very adventurous. <laughs> okay. But I think I, you just have a thing for Jasmine. You don't even remember the name of the second one. See how fancy. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. The second one was Brooke. Was Brooke? We've had Kersey. We've had Sammy. We've had Jasmine, Katie, and. Oh no, she's gonna hate me that I've forgotten her name. What's the last wow. one? You forgot Emily. There's no Emily. Shut up. <laughs> there was, I'm pretty sure. How would you know? You oh no, you're throwing me now because I had it on the tip of my tongue. Mm, yeah, I'm sure you've had them all. Oh, I'm gonna have to go find tongue. her and say sorry if I forgot her name. That's so sorry about that. Really? He's usually very respectful to ladies. Oh, I can even picture her except face. for when he's trying to fuck them. Emily. And he becomes the an animal. Anyway, on to the... Mm, mm, what? Oh, mm, fuck, yes. 
the cow. Moo, the cow, which is the comment of the week where we just pick a random comment that we think is fucking hilarious and we print it out and stick it on a fucking bit of canvas there and then by the end of the season it'd be a canvas full of cool comments. This doesn't necessarily need to be the most liked comment. Just could be clever, could be funny, could be anything. So just comment away. We love seeing your comments. <laughs> Aww. We love reading them all. And by the way, if you want, to, if you want us to answer your questions, comment your questions, right? The mo- we answer the most liked first. So have a scroll through, like the questions that you want us to answer. All right. I guess what we're that trying to say is just fucking comment. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There's that's a runner-up too. Uh, okay. Comment of the week went to Matt Kerr, depending on where he's from. Um, mm-hmm. All right, ready? <laughs> if Marty dies, who gets custody of Michael? Now, the reason we picked this one is because it's it's actually a great question. Um, and, you know, because I own him at the moment, but I think ownership would... Um, just go back to the institution if if I died he'd, he'd be back <laughs> he'd have to go back um, to the institution unless you get married I'm pretty sure there was something at the bottom of the contract if you get married then um, Amber gets you if I die but yeah uh, if I, so if I die before you marry it's Amber you have to I go back <laughs> to, go, <laughs> have to go back to the institution how fucked is that Man, I best get married then. yeah it, dude <laughs> the institution is like it's this 12 story building and there's no one in there. What suburb is it in? It's in Aspley, man. <laughs> Just around the corner. <laughs> the caravan park. That's where I found it, at the top level. All right, there was a runner-up one as well, which was Dane Wynn. Dane Wynn. <laughs> English, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little, little Fleckler, huh? <laughs> um, Dane's comment was, you guys fucking rule. Yeah, yeah dude. And we wanted to pick that one as second because... Um, it's true. Well, yeah, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, we're pretty good, actually, very, very good. The best. Well, <laughs> we don't like to say that much. We don't. We try we and stay humble, but we are by far the very best in the world. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that don't that's a stretch think, to Matt? say. I don't think that's Matt a stretch never to says say that. it. Matt never says that we're the best. You have to say it, dude. At the end of today, you have to say it or your mum dies. Five, oh, four, dude, it's no, three, no, 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 we're the best. We're the best. <laughs> <Do not fuck. laughs> Very good. <laughs> you have to say it just in case. <laughs> oh, love my mum. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get to some questions, okay? Don't break it, Michael. Michael, look how cool he, that was. Come here, give it to me. One, two, three, now, four, five comments so far, everyone. How exciting. All right, let's in, jump into some questions. <laughs> All right. That's what they get to be on a stupid board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question from Jonathan Smith. Um, That's a good, strong name. John Smith. <laughs> Greg Smith. Yeah. From Pocahontas. One syllable each. John <laughs> Smith. Oh. Greg Smith. <laughs> you get it done and sorted. You can't give that kind of nickname. Otherwise, it turns into two syllables, take twice as long. Greggy. Oh. Oh, we, we're getting Greg on the podcast yeah, as a guest. Yeah, that's a great idea. Have we had him before? I want to scream We him. pranked him. I just want to sit him down and scream Yeah, I want to like have him in my arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's in the middle here. <laughs> he's doing that grab at him. Is he doing that real outrage laugh all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss it. Oh, <laughs> Hey, can I ask a question? Oh, yeah, true. Okay. Oh, if we yeah, get yeah, Greg yeah. Can we have... Yeah, we're getting Greg for next if, week. If we get Greg on, does that mean we could possibly... <laughs> For Saturday, sit him on the couch, and I might get a good seat. Matt, what do you what do you mean? Greg sits here, you stay there. Yeah, fuck. Maybe not next week though, because we have to film this on Saturday, and he might not be available. On Saturday. I reckon he would. No, we could ask. We yeah, will we'll ask. ask. We will. Imagine ask. we're gonna have Greg next week, next week, hopefully. or the week after. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we're gonna we're get just him. Gonna message him and tell him to rock up. <laughs> Should we call him Dude, now? On Saturday, it'll be good 10. because he can do Saturday mornings. Should we call him now? Just ask. Yeah, let's confirm with Greg <laughs> that he's coming on the podcast and say that. Yeah. Sorry, I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you shortly. 
Listen, Greg, stop wasting my fucking time. We're filming a podcast Saturday morning. Be at Michael's at 10 a.m. Bring some fucking wine, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's, sh- it's short and sweet. Oh. Oh man, I hope he's here. Yeah, if we get Greg so on. nice. <laughs> he's I just, just want to like sexually abuse him. <laughs> no, I just want to like. He's, it's it's like that, having a dad and a kid at the same isn't time. It's going to be crowded. Isn't it weird that Greg coached us when we were children. Oh man, this is one of our. Yeah, I guess everyone knows him, but he's our first teacher at high school. Then he well, became my coach. house like a carer. Your like, land. Well, he became our first employer. Didn't he? He was our boss. He was our <laughs> first ever jobs he gave us. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. And then we, you lived on his Property. fucking cult. <laughs> yeah. He gave me a shipping container, which was awesome. And then he helped us out when we were poor as motherfuckers. Baby. And he is a great kisser. Oh, Greg has the <laughs> longest tongue <laughs> and such luscious <laughs> thick lips. <laughs> Anyway, next right. question, Greg. First question. This is oh, got, first question. Yeah, this is the top question. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, from Jonathan Smith. Um, can we see the rat colony? Wouldn't mind seeing you guys catch them and keep them as pets. Michael seems like the sort of guy that would have rat pets. I agree. I want to catch them. I want to film them for you guys. Let's catch them. Let's go buy that thing. Mom. What's the thing that catches them in yeah, the, the bucket? We got to YouTube that, and we got to do cage because that. that's we could turn it into a video somehow too. Well, we could set them free. Yes, yeah, setting rats free and setting them free like in your front yard so they run straight back to your garage. <laughs> <laughs> we catch them and set them free. Yeah, set them free. Oh, yeah. they're going to piss bolt too for the house. It'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's what we do as well. And we should put bells on them all so we can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah holy shit and then imagine at night the, the, the jingles of the rats man if you get bitten by one it would get it would send me crazy oh yeah not a good idea with the bells but yeah i'm down yeah, at least no, some in the great front yard. great question though and yeah we will be trying to get some footage of the rats for you guys and oh you did two questions for jonathan smith oh jonathan he's on fire yeah it was the most liked yeah i guess so um next question from Jonathan Smith. Do you guys ever feel uncomfortable doing the public videos? Let's use the latest public video you did as an example. Did you oh, feel the, uncomfortable? We reenacted the Will Smith Chris Rock incident in a public food court. And no, that's that sort of shit is fine. It's like a bit cringy because you know that the people around you, they're not they are shocked it's not funny to them they're just shocked but you know it'll be funny for someone who's watching it but the people around you don't really know that you're filming a video they just think you're crazy was it hard f- at first to do those things and they just got easier and then yeah. you didn't care definitely yeah it's some an things. element of getting because when i did the thing in the library with you man like heart pounding <laughs> What was the library thing? Uh, the sports one. <laughs> yeah, Matt's done a few. Oh, a few and little public. What's ones. the sports one again? Remember uh, as well when we were making videos for fucking sports Fortify, oh, and, <laughs> and you had to do. Oh one yeah, of you did the the phone thing. In public, yeah. That was public. fine though because I walked away and I I couldn't see anyone's reaction and I felt good about that. Yeah, the the shame, everything <laughs> goes after a while. You do it for long enough, it's just yeah. And and to be honest, all through high school, it was. We stood out because there was not much shame. Remember, whenever we were eating anywhere, I'd pretend to have Tourette's. I'd be screaming as <laughs> oh, loud as I could. Marty's never had respect. Never. Like Marty, at a, like if you go to a cafe with Marty, it's always going to be an awkward, like old loud, person obnoxious. looking weird at you. Like friend, oh the farts that he has ripped with like families behind him. <gasps> And it's just like I have to put my head down And I just so think good. Fuck they are staring us down But even it's- just basic chatter You'd be you'd be sitting there And Marty would be like Have you picked something From the menu Matthew But like to the whole cafe Yeah you yeah, get everyone looking at you But like a lot of the time it's, it's like a superpower Because I don't feel that humiliation And then I like seeing it in you guys <laughs> I have to admit It yeah. rubs off Everyone It is very funny it. Um, yeah, yeah the like, fighting in particular because I always have my back to it, my victim and so they turn around <laughs> and the boys just have to make eye contact and deal with that scenario it's been some oh. angry people yeah dude people get so mad I don't know why remember that lady yeah. at Flannery's 
No, what did she say? You just pretty much <laughs> farted on me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And oh. I was like, I didn't, and kept walking. Or something. I didn't. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh fuck! Tick. Yeah. Tick. Next question is from Stephen Hunt. Um, has Matt Brown thought about going on maths to find the next Mrs. Brown? I reckon Matt would make a great cast member and the intro on the show would be Matt Brown from Wholesome. Wait, so what was the beginning of that? Maths. Would you go on maths? Oh, yeah. Oh. Me and Mon were talking about that. It would, that I was so hate good maths. If, yeah, if we can it. get... Oh, okay. But like being a contestant's a different story. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't watch I'd it. I'd just be would fucking be on so annoyed. I'd be, I'd be so pissed off with everyone. It's a worry what? how how set up a lot of it yeah, is. Yeah, you know? and you get, everything gets through like mashed together, all their recordings because they're so full of shit that producers are maths. What about if we do our own Marty and Michael maths we'll do it. for you? That's we'll do different. We get like- That's different. But you have to legally marry That sounds marry exciting. Them. You have to legally you marry You do them. that? Yeah, I don't know. It could be fun because obviously you have other guys and girls doing it. Right? We find Matt's wife. I thought that's what you were doing with Bachelor Brown. We, yeah, well, that's yeah, exactly. But with Bachelor Brown, we don't get to vet them first. Oh, like, we're the meeting them show. for the first time too. We nah. pick the perfect girl, and she has to move me. in. She has to move in with you for three months. <laughs> Who do you think we would... Do you think we would not pick a suitable suit? No, I don't <laughs> think you would. And we record it and we release episodes about it. It's the new show. It's called... Brown Town. Brown... Yeah. And you will be painting your whole apartment brown. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, can we? And she... Yeah, she'll love it. Brown Town. We pick her by the end of this season. We'll Matt, know from all the calls we've done Matt for Brown, Bachelor Brown. Matt Brown, mayor of Brown Town. I need to find a girlfriend. These guys are going to ruin my life. We will find you a girlfriend and then we will ruin your life <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, we'll all ruin our lives together. But you guys are fine. You've found beautiful queens who you love. Yeah, it's so Asteroids, true. Asteroids, dude. You're Asteroids. not ruining your we, lives we at all. We have fucking struck gold. We, we could have very easily been homeless, drug addict pieces of shit. And yeah, we have we got struck lucky. gold. Somehow we turned it around and here we are, cunt. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Put it there. Put it there. <laughs> Ooh. Next question is from Jordan. Uh, Camarado. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Oh no, Camarado. Camarado. <laughs> racist. Camarado. You are a racist pig. I'm not racist. Jordan. Ooh, a riddle. Brown. If Marty and Michael lose all their fame and money, the only way to get it all back is to convince Matt Brown to give them a quickie, a quick suckle until they mince. No. The only people that remember is Marty and Michael after the deed is done. How do you convince him? Oh, just offer you money. Oh, so this is so Jordan, this is a bit poorly worded, but oh, um, Bob Brown is having an assault. Yeah, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit upset. I'm a bit upset. So, so, so basically, basically you lose all your fame and the only way to get it back is to suck me off. And we only know you have, only you will know in the end, but you have what do you do to convince me to do it? We'd probably give you money. I'd probably drug you and just do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it counts if we just like put it in your mouth. I'd, 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 oh. I'd fucking try and freak you out. No, no, you, you got to mince. He specifically uh, says suckle until they I mince. Would, I would well, like, if we drug him, you're out cold and then we just... We'll, no, we'll give him a Viagra and then we'll drug him. And then we'll just. It suck does say until a quick. It's a quick suckle. It's not a. It's not a mouth fuck. Oh, we have no. He sucks. Oh, I'm off. sucking you guys. Oh, so. Oh, okay. So we that drug him and harder. then we just jerk off over him while he's passed out. No, 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 no. It says his mouth. suckle until they mince. Yeah, we'll finish in your mouth. So you you have, have to convince to, to me to off. suck you. Oh, you right. can't cheat. Oh, okay. Um, I know what I do. You're always trying to cheat. We're the only ones who remember, right? Yeah. I get your mum. I get a gun and say, "Suck me off, or I'll shoot your mum." Fuck, I do it. That would work, yeah. I'll fucking do but it. But we could probably pay you. I right? know that I'm using no, 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 no. my mum against me. I'd, I'd give to... you like, I'd give you like, five hundred bucks. I don't like that. No. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Suggesting he's very cheap. I don't like that you're starting to use my mum against me. <laughs> okay. That's... Well, five hundred dollars. Dark road. Done. <laughs> right. I'd have to fire some warning shots too, because you yeah, wouldn't believe me that Boom. I'd shoot your mum. Oh. I'd have to oh. shoot her leg or something first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Julian showed us a terrible, terrible video today. Yeah, two kids accidentally shoot themselves. Well, one, she shoots a- I didn't watch one, it. And then she's so distraught that in that moment, she just picks the gun up and shoots herself. It was apparently really fucked up. Really? Who filmed, who's filming? They were live streaming. They had a gun. 
Oh, I only heard about kids it. Kids playing with guns like last. Oh, like well, a ten-year-old and a five-year-old. Your fans have already sent me the worst stuff I've ever seen, so <laughs> I can take that. <laughs> I won't, I won't repeat what it was. We poisoned his soul. Yeah, I won't repeat what was sent to me, but it was fucked. Ooh. 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 Hey. Whoa. Your little purring just reminded me of a story I just heard in the, in the news. Whew. Apparently there's a school in Brisbane that um, there are a bunch of girls who don't know each other and they're identifying as cats and the school is allowing them to cut holes in their skirts to wear their tails out and when they see each other they go <laughs> at the other cats in Brisbane in Brisbane you're Brisbane. lying you're lying Brisbane girls grammar look it up but that is not real life you are, you, I'll google you are, it right now and show you that's a poorly written on this day 110% that's what that is that's a 110% that is day. happening. And apparently in one classroom, a We're girl- We're going there if that's happening. I a hope girl you know that. Steps. We don't want to go to a I'm school. I'm going to that school. <laughs> if that's real, that's where I need to be. We could All this is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well- Apparently a we girl stepped on one of their fake tails and she- <laughs> In the class. How do you know? I read it. Yeah, yeah, you can read it. All right, there's two reasons I know. Sure. There's two reasons I know. One, I know someone who knows someone that works at the school, and the other one is that it was it was just released. So I think it was Daily Mail. What it's school? Poorly written on this. Girls' day. grammar. Uh, br- I think it's Brisbane girls' grammar. We I need to contact them. Well, they're not going to return I'm our gonna, calls. I'm they're I'm really posh. Call them right now. <laughs> they're I'm a calling private them right school. Now. <laughs> Brisbane girls' grammar is it? Well, let's just have a <laughs> look. Yeah. Okay. Let's find out. Walking on all fours and cutting holes in their uniform for a tail. How, what year? I don't know, Brisbane Girls Grammar. How the fuck should I know? Holy fucking shit. I told you it was real. And you this didn't is, believe me. It's like a movie. There. We're living in a fucking movie. We have to, we have to go there. As if you wouldn't just start identifying as, like, as a lion and just start That's ripping people to shit. Well, I would mental say- illness, isn't it? I'd say that I am identify as homework. And when the teacher asks my homework done, I'd say I'm offended that you would ask me to do myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could take offense, but I just say I'm done each time. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get through these questions. Um, uh, next, next question is from the man. nameless man. If you weren't doing these videos and stuff, what else would you like to do if this wasn't an option? PS, absolutely loving the videos used to. Oh, sorry, sup. Uh, sub to everything, everything and keep up the good work fucking legend there you go true web sub member true fan Mr. Brown's shit <laughs> shit shit oh. um uh, what was the question so what would we do oh, if yeah. we weren't probably we said this before but probably, I reckon it's changed I'd probably want to sell weed <laughs> weed paraphernalia and be a bong king yeah like king of the bongs or legally sell weed yeah. No, no. Michael will be a. He's going to build his own community. Oh, yeah, a commune. Set up a commune yeah, would be good. That's what Michael would do. Yeah, be making our own strain of weed and selling that would be nice. We're going to do that. Yeah, Next question should. It's from William Marks. Uh, have you considered the reason Matt doesn't want to meet the girls is because maybe he prefers the other kind? It was most liked. I'm just going off most liked. Well, I don't yeah, the other kind of girl. It was. You can see the number. Yeah, I can see the number. I don't believe that. Yeah, seven likes or nine? Five. Oh, well, I just went what was ever. What? What's, what? I don't get it. <laughs> well, what about. He's suggesting I reckon that I may like boys. We should girls. maybe set up a guy next week and see if you like it. Yeah, see how Matt reacts. No. That's perfect. Yep. That's a great I'm idea. I'm going to write that down. Matt, you don't know unless you've tried and look at where you are. Okay? 35 <laughs> Listen, years trying one gender. Maybe open your fucking eyes and your asshole and have a fuck with a man. God! Doesn't matter what I say. Well, dude, yeah, you could find your wife, husband. And that is all the questions for today, guys. <laughs> Oh. All right, guys, it's German or gibberish time. It's where I say a sentence that either sounds like German or is German, and they have to guess if it's gibberish or German, and whoever gets the most wrong by the end gets slapped with the wooden spoon as hard as I fucking can. I was can just thinking... For their ignorance of the German language. I still have a bruise language. from last week. Look. I was just thinking, should there be an ultimate punish for the loser overall of 40 episodes? 
But how are you going to like go back and see them all? Come I'll just on, go back man. And I'll, I'll That's going to be too much no, no, research. No, 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 you're not. You're Come not, on, You've man. gone too far. That is just too much. You just, I just go through and I'll just calculate the, how many who won. You've got to go back through you, all you, the episodes. Are you listening to if what I you're saying? If I start now, I'll have six and I, you, then you I just six. fucking insane. insane. That is fucking insane, Matt Brown. Are you scared to lose? Six is heaps. All right. Anyway. It is. <laughs> Here's number one. Ass Tolfit Vec! Ass Tolfit Vec! Or he's putting an act on there. He's trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I'm going to say no as well. That is not German. That's not German. You're trying to be German? That's trying to be German. That's fake German. It is not German. You're both on the board with one. One. Yep. All right, next. Titelreisen! Titelreisen! <laughs> he's trying to be Irish, but it's probably German. Yeah, I'm going to say it is German. You are German. That. <laughs> he is I wish it kept going back forever. <laughs> well, you're both on two. Remember, if you guys get all five correct, I have to get slapped with a spoon. Oh my God. We work together here. Gotta get five, though. Mm, all right, ready. Next one, number three. I shall light a ficken heart! We have to guess what it is too. Alte Leute ficken hart! Oh yeah, you guys didn't guess the last one. I reckon you're being very, very fucking Irish, but it's probably fucking German. Yeah, I think it's German as well. Fart? You could be scared, like this could be a scam, but I'm gonna say German. You're correct. <laughs> we are getting good. Three out of three. All right. Have and a guess. it means have we got to guess what it means. means. And right. then the last one. Tittenreisen. It means. Oh, which one are you guessing first? Get a job and get out there. Pretty close. Like, I would say in the same category. Which one am I guessing? The recent one? The recent one first. Can I hear it again? I can like the fitting heart. Um. I have heart problems from stress. Nowhere near. Old people fuck hard, which is pretty much go out there and get a job. Well, well, yeah, same league because old people have jobs. All right, that one before that. Tenderizing. What do you think that means? I have it's, tits on my back. It's like fucking. No, Matt. It's not that. God. It's getting out of the horizon. <gasps> Nearly word for word. Shut Nearly. up. Nearly. Shut up. S listen to it. It means um, tit rip. Oh, fucking I was way closer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Look, it's not about that, Matt. You were oh. both wrong. Horizon. Anyway, is you're, all, you're both on three all. All right. Moving into number four. Bretsch fem medlos! Bretsch fem medlos! It is... Fucking, you are being, it's German, but you are trying to be Irish. No, that's German. You're too aggressive. Yeah, I think it's German too. Oh, fuck, but he does that. He puts that out. You're wrong. On. It's not German. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't <laughs> give us time. <laughs> you lock it in, you lock it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're both wrong and you can no longer hit me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> All right, final one. It's four or... Tun, tun, tun. Oh, this is gonna get Sorry, three all. Sorry, three all. <sighs> Pisser an Nachbarn Pisse Pisser an Nachbarn chicken. <laughs> oh, dude. Chicken. If, that, if, chicken. if chicken. that's German, that's fucked up. But it probably is. Pisser an Nachbarn chicken. <laughs> oh, no. This one's so hard. What do you think, Mr. Brown? Brown. What did you say? I'm not sure yet. You're going to wait for me, aren't you? Yeah, I'm learning from you. Can you go again? Piss it on Nachbarn, chicken! That's a sexy language. I'm going to say it is German. Fuck, I'm going to say... I guess it has to... I have to say it isn't. It's not German. It's stupid. There's no need for that. A little bit of racism. <laughs> okay, okay. That's not German, though. It is German. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Oh, That's a German no. sentence, and it's quite a common one. Very common. Oh, no, no, I just love you. That's not you're, German. It's stupid. You're going to hurt me, aren't you? Dude, I wish I wasn't so mean. Would you like to have a go at guessing what that means, Mr. Brown? Um, oh, shit. Can you just say it again one more time? Sorry. Oh, it's the kink of the face that convinced me it was just like retardation. Oh, man. I drag my balls along the tiles. You can't win, but do you want to have a go? If that's real, it's like... It is real. <laughs> Slipping over and pissing on your tits, Tyler. Fucking hell. Oh, that's it. I'm, I'm, Shut up. Oh, if you could score then, you would have got that. It actually means uh, send your neighbor's piss. That is the same, same thing. Same thing. Pretty much. That means I come back and win, right? Or well, that's <laughs> ev that evens it out. You don't get a chance to guess because you didn't get it right. <gasps> oh, no. And for your mild racism, you will now pay the ultimate price. Oh, I reckon I'll go other arm. Fuck, I'm so over this shit, hey. Uh, uh, <laughs> you think I want to do this, huh? Oh. You think I want to be banishing you for getting German wrong? <laughs> Just learn it. Oh. Just learn it. Come on, man. Marty, Marty, you you're, not, you're not in camera. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I'm just going to make eye contact with you, Brown. It's going to help. Special mm, this will teach you <laughs> for your insolence. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's just burning. <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. That was a oh my slap God, too. Dude. Okay. And that's, oh, uh, funnily oh. enough, that's actually what happens in Germany if you um, <sighs> misspeak. <sighs> oh my God, it's starting to subside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> welt on his arm. Oh my god! Okay, let's just have move a look on. at that. I'm good. Give us a look first. Oh, oh man, that looks. Good. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys, it's still from last week. I've got one on this arm. Just fainter. Soon we must work on the thighs. Surely oh, you guys have a world it's record. Fucked on the thigh for too. Bruising each other. Yeah, no, we used, to, we used to walk around with a lot more bruises too. Remember the live stream days? Oh, the live stream. We I remember one fuck, time dude, yeah, one we time. had kick-ons <laughs> we might, with fucking we old mate. What's his name? Bender, Prav and fucking... Yeah, no, the yeah, other guy? Dousty. Yeah, dude. And he looked at me and he was just like, you look like a fucking junkie I said, And he did. He was so skinny and just covered bruises, in bruises. everywhere. I look like a leopard. Um, yeah, you just ate cheese... Pizzas. <laughs> One meal a day. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. One meal Dominoes, a day. Dominoes, dude. It saved bay, the day. Bay. Hey? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah, shit. Look. I think one of the um, websites went up on the they phone and it, and it stopped recording because I heard it talking to the other one. <laughs> How long for has it been rolling for? One. 131. Yeah, third There's one. a fair bit of cut though. So one third one. This is this is about good. This is about good. About good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast, po PO unboxing time. If you want us to open something on the PO box segment, we open it live. We don't have a sneaky looking inside first. There it is. PO box two five six taken four zero one eight Queensland Australia. And it's some weird shit. Um, there's a letter there, and then there's one from that guy who doesn't have a dad. Well, should we save one for Saturday? No. We probably won't. Oh, <laughs> Matt's, Matt's, Matt's arch cross. nemesis has sent one. Matt's cross. He said, go the... And I'm not going to read the rest because that's a shit football team. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what do we have here? Huh? He's going to shoot me in public. Right, I've opened he? this, by the way, this little letter, and I'm opening it. And Dear Marty and Michael, can you give my Croatian friend, Andrew Babich... A happy birthday shout out on your podcast since his birthday is soon and I want to surprise him on your podcast. Thank you from Anonymous. Andrew Babich. 
Happy birthday, my friend. We Happy birthday, man. We hope you're fine and well, and we hope that you get everything that you desire in this life and the next. Yeah. Happy birthday. Matt? <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's carefully pulling the letter out. Oh. This is Matt's art. I don't like that that's way. wrapped up like that, like he's put something in there. I think it's just an interesting way to wrap it. Yeah, I'll do it quicker it, if you it. want. I got it, I got it. Um, yeah, so this is Matt's arch nemesis if you've just tuned in. And he's always sending Matt some hate letters. <laughs> <laughs> some, some Can letter we read haters. a bit of this one out? Here, I'll have a read. I don't oh, think... Oh, <laughs> has he jizzed <laughs> on it again? A photo. <laughs> yeah, he usually jizzes <laughs> on his letters. Is it jizz on this one? <laughs> he usually jizzes. I love the lines he draws across <laughs> to help him write. Yeah, he's such a <laughs> fucking loser. Um, oh, man. It's just for you guys. I don't think he's writing to me anymore. He's offended. Oh. Oh. Wait, what about on the back? <laughs> I, think, I, think it, I think it continues. Austin and Kath were brothers yeah. and sisters. You have to read from the front. Oh, okay, it goes right, right. Right. Yeah. Dear Marty and Mark, I want you to tell you something quickly. Jaden Prasad's girlfriend, Kath, would you know, and their friend, Austin. Remember how Shami brought her? van and took the lads out for a week on a road trip and they had 10 minutes to pack or show me and the crew would leave since Kath was home to Jaden's bed and Austin was about to miss out on the road trip I thought Austin would be home and he'd have sex with Kath Kath would suck his dick until I found out Austin and Kath were brother and sister so brother fucking sister and sister sucking brother's dick <laughs> none of that happened I'm not sure um, oh yes. my god sick letter it's so weird because I got letter, a though. message from Jaden today saying rumors. <laughs> he just sent me randomly rumors. <laughs> Let me get that. Rumors. I sent back stem cell research. <laughs> 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 uh, very oh, cool. Classic. <laughs> All right. Um, it's time for the prank call, baby. And this week for our prank call, I'm going to be calling a massage place that we know does happy endings. And I'm going to call as Rhonda and accuse them of sucking my husband off. Are we That's calling the same one last time? As last time that Margaret called? I can't remember oh, that yeah, one. Remember, yeah. That is very, very of an idea. Oh, man. Very, very. I thought of this one. Michael came up with that great idea as well. Hello. Wait, can you? We're just about to do the podcast prank call. Can you um, message me the number of a massage place that definitely does happy endings? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Much, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> He's got him on speed. Oh, we can't. Ooh. Floating around. If that doesn't work, I've got a banger for you. Hello, massage. Has massage. Uh, my name's Rhonda. Uh, it's just occurred to me my husband's come to been seeing you guys uh, over the last six months. Is that correct? Pardon? My husband's, I just found out. Okay, I come home from work and I found out. My husband's been visiting you guys for the last six months or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, really? no. Okay, now, uh, listen, I have reasons to suspect, okay, your establishment <gasps> has been sucking his doodle and been playing with his little, uh, flipping, <laughs> flicking, a little flicking his little balls. Oh, we didn't know. Okay, so I will let you talk to the manager one second. Okay, listen, I, I'm, I appreciate your honesty, okay? I appreciate that, because here's a stupid pig of me. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> he's a, such a stupid man, he can't even pay for his own rent. I have to pay the rent. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> he sells pigs on the side. So stupid. If you see him coming again, <laughs> excuse me. Can you do me a favor, sweetheart? I need you to write down more number and name and call me the second he walks in. Can you? Wait, you want to come for massage? Let's eat. Okay, listen to what I'm saying, okay? If you see Brian 
That's his alias name. His real name's Arnold Fine. Okay. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Fucking my husband. <laughs> <laughs> they admitted to it. Yeah. It uh, must happen. What did all she say? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's like, we didn't know. We didn't know. That's racist. Fucking hell. Holy and shit. I can't believe it. Should you call him back as Arnold Fine and just tell him to ignore her? Just okay. yeah, I reckon one small call back and be like, tell her about now your uncle being studying. Mm-hmm. Now I will be Arnold Fine and I'll say I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, hello. Arnold Fine's accent is hard to understand. Oh, hello. Uh, my name Arnold Fine. Uh, this uh, massage, yes? Yeah. Okay. Um, look, I think uh, maybe five minutes ago, my wife, uh, she called. Uh, she very sick. My wife is sick. Uh, yeah. she, uh, I, I call her to say um, she had uh, too many drink. Uh, don't worry, she uh, will not call again. Uh, she back in the bed uh, with the pig, and uh, she uh, sleep off the drinking, and uh, she be fine in the morning, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay, sorry. Okay, I come back in for my usual um, on Wednesday. Eh? I come back in for usual uh, back massage and uh, cock fiddle. Little cock fiddle. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, at the end was fucked. <laughs> Dude, they're oh. packing up their shop right now. Yeah, they're thinking, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? We've been <laughs> sprung. Oh, like, oh. just been called Dude, by we have to do it again. People. I want to do that like, again. That's it's what so she'd be fun. thinking. She'd be thinking, just like, do every character. She'd be seriously like, fuck, why did I leave fucking Thailand, cunt? She'd be thinking that, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know she's from Thailand? Because it says two Thai racist, love. Racist man. It says two love massage, Thai massage therapist. Matt Brown. Anyway, Michael would like to leave you with these parting thoughts. I reckon if if you dream at night, this is for you, Matt. You're fucking thinking in diff in like a different way. Fucking hell. I don't really know what that means, but I could tell that it was profound. It's pretty good. It's not. It's all right. But you we're know what's best. not all right is us because we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're Your mum might die. Your mum might die. We're the best. We'll not. We're the best. 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 Oh, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Oh, my God. So if, if she dies now, that. it's your fault. Oh, can we stop? That if she does, dude, everyone's gonna die. Yeah, I know, but just this is horrible. Like we're bringing it up now, dude. Yeah, possibly. We are the best. We are the best. Thank you, Matt. That's better.